Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin, and today we're reviewing the Davidoff Escurio. Escurio? Escurio. Um, I have the Robusto right here. I'm kind of hesitating because uh, Escurio is not something that I do all the time. Uh, it's not a normal cigar that I smoke all the time. I, when somebody tries to smoke it, I would say this is something different. But let's get into it and I explain why. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make Okay, we're back. So this particular one, Escuro no, Robusto and Davidov Escuro is is slightly different from that whole line of the Nick Rog and Yamasas and this one. And uh, I enjoy the Nicaragua and Yamasa a lot. And Yamasa is one of the definitely hidden gem. And if I, I don't think I did a review on it, but we could do our sort of review on that particular one. But this is the different one. This one is punching the face, heavy, medium plus to full cigar. Uh, you know, when somebody tries to smoke this, it's like you know, be careful. Make sure you have some food. Make sure you are awake. And make sure you are ready for this. Uh, the, the the Brazilian binder in there, the Ecuadorian wrapper in there, makes it really strong. It, it's just a strong one. So yeah, let's let's cut it and let's smoke it. Uh, very chocolatey wrapper uh, smell. I actually like it. This one definitely my thing. Definitely my thing. Great draw with that small of a cut. It's not even a DB, but you got a lot of good draw. Just enough. Just enough. Let's toast this first. Very quickly. Because, you know, when we're recording, we don't have time. We don't have time. But, yeah. But, why am I doing this? If you guys have smoked these series before, the the uh, Nicaraguan, the Yamasa, and the Escurio, leave a comment below. Let me know how you guys like it. There's also the Florida edition, which is like a combination of the, the Nicaragua and the Yamasa. Uh, that's another, you know, okay taste. I think that because they, they, they mixed it, it kind of like, you know, you know it's, it's good at everything but best at nothing kind of thing. Alright, right away, you get the tobacco, you get the... Uh, um, Get a little bit of coffee. You get a little bit of cream. You get a little like a little bit of hay. Just a tad of earthiness to the to the lip. You now when I just lick my lip, I get a little bit of the earthiness. And you get this like a separate smoothness. This is just like. A note that's in there that's, that makes the rest of it smooth, all right, smooth. But then you can taste it. first draw strength, all right. There's no mistake that they're strengthening this. No mistake that they're strengthening this, and definitely have some uh, refinement. I mean, this is probably the more refinement of the three, all right. Because the other one is just right away jumping to taste, no BS. And this particular one is more of um, strength in the back, but you kind of have to search for that taste. It's there. You had to get to it. You know, had to get to it. There might be a little bit of pepper. This is not a lot, but it kind of tingles here and there, but it's not enough to uh, make a notice. It's just there. Right? It's just there. Good cedar note through the nose, at the nose, the retro hill, you definitely get the, the cedar note. So yeah, let me smoke this down. I might do my thing, smoke this down, and I'll see you guys in some idea. <laughs> Alright, so a little bit about one third, the ash fell down, but you know, this for Robusto is quite thick. <laughs> this for Robusto is quite thick. But yeah, the strength is definitely there. 
but it's really nice and refined. Uh, you can just slowly enjoy this. For something like this, at this length, full body, it's not too bad. Even like a regular medium smoker can, can enjoy this, but just be aware, just don't go crazy at it. One puff at a time, maybe one puff to two puff a minute, not a lot of puff. And you get that nice cedary flavor, a uh, little bit of the mm, chocolate, but like milk coffee kind of uh, flavor to this and very refined, very refined. It kind of slowly comes in, slowly leave. So it's not like you have to take that many puffs. I, mean, I, mean, I can't stress enough to understand that this is a refined taste, so it's not gonna be in your face kind of taste. So don't take too much draw. Don't take too much draw, just you know, one draw. That's all you need. That's all you need. And you know, continue to do what you do. Enjoy, have your whiskey, have your drink, have your bourbon, have your soda and then you know come back to it come back to it when you think like i'm starting to forget that taste gotta go back to it that's how you do it you go out go in go out go in that's how you enjoy the cigar really really good cigar it's just thick <laughs> it's just really thick for a boost up i would have preferred a thinner but i think that for the strength and for the for the amount of stuff that i put in here they kind of have to make sure that the, there is enough tobacco in there there's enough tobacco in here then everything will be good fine right uh, so as usual, I'm just doing work uh, at my computer, enjoying this slowly, very slowly. And then when I think about something, I start to, you know, go, oh, I need to talk about that. But something like this tends to make me forget that I'm smoking because right? I'm taking it so slowly on it, so slowly. Um, so, you know, 10, 15 minutes later, I'm still just one third in. Um, well, it's not even one third, really. very refined very good very different from that series of three I don't even know why this is considered a part of it because um, you know it doesn't really fit in there it's just different it's just different very strong refined gentleman like cigars where you don't you don't hold this thing on your mouth it just no you don't one puff at a time put it down do what you need to do come back for another pop that's how you do this so i'm gonna continue to smoke this hopefully uh until somewhere the bend is and then we'll continue okay so now we're a little bit into it that, that that's where the bend will happen i took off the bend the burn not too bad i mean it slightly went off a little bit uh i think it's because i put it a certain way so uh usually it burns relatively straight it's not bad at all uh, this cigar, halfway through now, or well, a little bit more than halfway through, it starts to develop this uh, uh, a, a woodsy, slight bitterness, almost chalk, uh, like a chalkiness to it. And then that, you know, kind of dries you up just a tad. So, I think this, to, to kind of counter effect that, uh, counter that effect of you know, drying your mouth and giving that chalkiness. You want some really nice bourbon to go with this. Soda will work for this too, cream soda and all that stuff. But I think to counteract, you need nice bourbon. Top it off with a little bit of club soda. Why? Because club soda has that little bit of the alkalineness to it. Uh, it does kind of cleans up your mouth with this subtle bitterness. And because that bitterness will be stronger than this cigar's bitterness, you will not taste it. And because you won't taste that part, you only get the fine part. I mean, I, everything, you know, especially smoking, when you burn something, you gotta get some burn taste, whether or not it's a pleasant burn or a bad burn taste, you're gonna get some burn taste. Now, uh, a lot of time, if you shock your mouth with different things, it, you know, palate cleanser, it, it actually only brings out the part that you want rather than one part you don't want so when you have a cup of whiskey you don't necessarily have to be on the rock it be, can be neat but you add a little bit of splash of club soda salsa water so that it, it actually separates the oil that's in the whiskey and then adds a little bit of sparkling and a uh, little bit of that bitterness it will help to counteract the strain number one the strain of the cigar number one Number two is uh, 
it will kind of counteract that some bitterness that's in the cigar whether or not that's a pleasant one or not um most likely i'll say most bitterness are not pleasant so you'll counteract that and you'll help cleans up the palate for the next smoke because especially something as strong as this uh clean it up actually wakes you up a little bit and you know more of enjoyment in there so that you know you can enjoy this longer have more sips of your bourbon rather than having more strength of the cigar helps out helps out a lot so yeah uh i enjoy the cigar a lot it's not something that i go all the time just because how long it takes to smoke the cigar number one um even though it's a robusto you will take an hour plus to smoke the cigar because you can't go fast at it you can't go you cannot if you go fast at it you gotta get hit by the strength if you don't go fast at it, you get to enjoy it more so you definitely don't want to get uh you know go too fast on this and again the reason i cut this little slit is so that not too much goes through because when you have too much you got to get in trouble you know moderation is key moderation is the key so just enough smoke go through a uh, little bit of resistance on that is okay for this particular cigar and particular cigar is very enjoyable if you take your time if you don't take your time, you gotta be in trouble for this one. This one requires time, requires finesse, requires uh, you taking that time to say, hey, I'm gonna focus my next two minutes on the drink and come back and focus on you again. You know, it's like dating. You, you wanted to insult her and then praise her. <laughs> insult her and praise her, insult her, praise her. So I'm gonna leave you alone for now. Okay, now you need attention. Here you go. That's how you're going to do it. I think this is how you're going to do justice to this cigar. Don't go fast at it. Enjoy. And this is a relatively expensive cigar. It's what, $16 to uh, $20 range. Depends where you are. So it's not something I would say go fast at it. You know, you want to slowly enjoy the, the, the refinement, the, the elegance of the cigar. Uh, and the strength is there, so you don't have to worry about is this enough? Because after this, you feel it. You're like, okay, I, I think I should have, I have enough vitamin N for now, so I'll move on to some other thing. So this is one of those things. If you go fast enough, you'll fall asleep like Matia Maya. How do I know Matia Maya fall asleep? Because he tells you. <laughs> uh, so uh, while I'm at this, I might as well mention, you know, we do have a Shadow Smokers Legion member called Matia Maya and Bob the Cigar Guy. They do absolutely awesome, 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 awesome reviews. And, you know, I think my, uh, my artist in doing the Battle of the Bundle Cigar, that's pretty good information to have as well. He's got some really good, useful information uh, in his old videos too. So if you just watch his new video and you liked it, go back to some of the old videos uh, and see the difference. He, he, he changes through time. And so is Bob the Cigar Guy. You know, he used to call something else. So he got plenty of video for you to go all the way back and enjoy it for like, you know, two weeks straight and then finally caught up to his current video. He also have pipe videos and other videos. So, you know, it's good to watch. Anyways, so this particular cigar, even though I'm still keep going at this and I know, I know for sure this, uh, if I just gotta keep smoking this, the video is gonna be too long. But I can tell you that Consistency is there. Throughout the whole cigar, it's just gonna taste the same thing over and over. Not much change, not much change. Over and over. Refinement, not much change. So you can smoke the whole entire cigar expecting the same thing, okay? $15, and I there's the larger size, and I do not recommend the larger size. If you wanna enjoy it longer, buy two of them. Smoke separately. Uh, that way, you don't get yourself in trouble. All right, because you could get yourself in trouble with this. All right, so consistency, yes. Build quality, good, good. Uh, the wrapper uh, presentation, very good. Uh, the bend, confusing. I would say the bend really doesn't tell me anything. Other than the green kind of kind of hints that there is some Brazilian stuff in there. So there, there is a Brazilian binder in here. Other than that, I don't know why the bends are green and everything else. So, you know, I think this series are very confusing because you know the Yamasa I know is from the Volcano A region and all that stuff but having the red and just Yamasa doesn't really tell you anything so uh, for a long time nobody buys that cigar 
uh, until somebody smoked it. Oh, that was pretty good. Nicaraguan was uh, uh, was confusing too. It was orange color, but there was nothing on there that tells you anything other than the fact that it's a Nicaraguan. So you smoke that, you'll like it because Nicaraguan cigars are and uh, tobaccos are a safe bet. You know what you're expecting. But Escuro, like, what is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? It doesn't tell you much about a cigar. So uh, I think the presentation is slightly confusing, but uh, the, the, you know, see the, the wrapper is clean. It's clean, very nicely oily. Uh, in terms of the, 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 how pleasing is to look at it. It's great. The smell from the dry leaf is great. You get that coffee note right away. Um, the, the, the notes, like I say, it was f elegant. They don't, they don't hit you in the face, but they are enough to, for you to pick out, for you to pick out per just regular, regular draw. Regular draw was enough. Usually I'll take two draw, three draw just to light it up, then heat it up and go in. But something like this, one draw, it was enough. If you have to go pre-draw, you could, you know, like this. You could, but I don't think it's necessary because even if you pre-draw, the amount of strain of the taste is the same. At least for me, it was the same. So one draw at a time was good. Definitely have a big meal before you smoke this because the strain, like I say, is medium plus to full. You might not feel it until halfway through, until halfway through. All right. So I'm going to continue to enjoy this in private because there's not much to talk about other than, you know, going at it and um, telling you that, that the flavor is the same because I smoke enough of these to tell you that in the end, you get more strength. Everything else stays the same. Everything else stays the same. Is it enjoying the cigar? Is it worth $15 to $20 range? Yeah. Yeah. But is it an everyday cigar? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Do not smoke this in the day. You gotta, you'll gotta. you have a mellow day for the rest of the day if you do smoke this in the morning. Do not smoke this in the morning. Enjoy this at a night where you can uh, enjoy a nice bourbon like on the side. Take your time. Read a book or something like that. This will be a very good candidate cigar. right? Something like a smaller, more flavor-driven cigars. Uh, you can smoke quick. You can, you can go at it. You can have multiple. That's totally fine. But something like this, take your time on it take your time on it and you will enjoy it much much more anyways so that's it for the review for this particular cigar i gotta finish that uh off camera because it will take more time <laughs> it will take more time i'm gonna take my time literally at this i could smoke drink eat and come back and smoke again so long as it doesn't go off it will be enjoyable cigar to do try try it for yourself and then um if you never tried it before Put a comment below uh, once you tried it. Uh, if you tried this before, let me know which of the three that you like the most. Nicaraguan, Yamasa, or this, or even the Florida edition. So let me know which one you like best. And if you have some cigars that you want me to review, put it in the comment below. If I have it, I will review it. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your day and be saucy. Bye.